and I have a quite an encyclopedia of these comments. So the first one came just 30 minutes ago, and it was a one-word comment. Ooh, ka, le, li. Ooh, ka, le, li. Ooh, ka, le, li. Ooh, ka, le, li. So that's about the most harsh criticism I get these days. <laughs> and I can bear that. I would feel pretty funny saying, ukulele, ukulele. Let me go look at my 83 ukuleles. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm doing baby talk and I'm not going there. If the day ever comes that I move to Hawaii, which would be lovely, if real estate prices were the same as in northern Alabama, I would be there. Because I would have to trade my 2,500 square foot house for a little grass hut and maybe have Two hundred square foot yard on the back bay somewhere, or on the precipice of a volcano, for all I know. But I'm very comfortable here, so it's ukulele for me. Now this one's interesting from digital media. Excellent video. Thanks for your instruct thanks to your instructions, our family can play the toy accordion now. Simply educational and informative. Much appreciated. And I do appreciate that comment. Wow, I mean to be able to to give somebody a start on a musical instrument to where they can, can actually play songs, that's cool. I think that is great. I'm thrilled. This, by the way, is a toy accordion. So if you go out and buy one of these for about $25 to $35 and then watch my video, you too will be able to play the toy accordion. Super! Now, I really, really, really like this comment. Of course, I like all these comments. It's good. It gives me something to talk about. Rich, I was a ukulele snob, but your videos have changed my opinion. Thank you. Thank you for that comment. There's hardly anything you could say that would please me more than what you just did in that, those short two little sentences. When I lived in South Carolina for 20 years, and we left a little over four years ago now. I had a next door neighbor across the street actually, and his name was Bud. <laughs> Bud was old Vietnam War vet. I helped him write a book about, he called it almost a hero. And he said, if I had just done this or that, the airplane would have crashed, and then I would have been a hero. As it is, I lived, and now I'm selling real estate. Bud was a good old boy, and he had his collection of name musical instruments. 
is Martin Guitars come to mind. Everything Bud had, he paid top dollar for, including the, uh, at the time, he had a 55 Studebaker in his garage, his cars, his expensive cars parked outside. He had an expensive Studebaker in one bay of the garage, and he had a like new 1993 pickup truck that he never, that only had like 3,000 miles on it. In the other bay, he never drove either one of those vehicles. And in his house, there were lined up all of his trophy musical instruments. Now, I will say that at least Bud could play his Martin guitar and sing uh, in a fashion a few cowboy songs. And uh, I mean, he was not a good player by any means, but could, he could at least play. Ever since I, I met Bud and his Martin guitars, anytime somebody tells me I got a Martin guitar, I almost choke. <laughs> now, I have my Yamaha digital pianos, and they cost, one of them cost $100, another one cost $250. And the other one I bought at full price back when I was new to uh, musical instruments and I was kind of in Bud's category where I would pay a lot of money for my musical instruments. But with a, a digital piano, there's lots and lots of things that a digital piano can do. It has a huge benefit over a music keyboard even though music keyboards are amazing and can do so much more than a ukulele. But an expensive ukulele does exactly the same thing that an inexpensive ukulele does. All it carries with it is a burden. First of all, you got to live up to the name of your ukulele, and if not, you're just bud. You know what I mean? <laughs> Now, if you can live up to the name of your ukulele, then go ahead and you can be a ukulele snob. But if you can't live up to the name of your ukulele, then you're just bud. And that's my opinion, and I'm sticking with it. But a digital piano, wow! I mean, if you end up paying a thousand dollars for a digital piano, which you don't have to do, Wow, I mean, they play hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different voices and musical instruments and amazing things you can do with a digital piano. And you can also do those with a music keyboard, but it's not as big and the sound is not as robust and amazing. But as far as an expensive ukulele goes, until I actually have one in my hand and play it, I won't be impressed, and I doubt if I would be impressed if I had one. So there, I've seen people name people playing inexpensive ukuleles, and they sound great. So, Rich, I was a ukulele snob, but your videos have changed my opinion. Thank you. I guess that is my little lot in life now. And that's what I do. And I'm happy to do that service to people. And I'm especially happy to do it for people who are starting out so they don't have to make a $300 to $2,500 mistake purchase on their first ukulele. You don't have to. The cheap ones sound amazing if you can play.
Thanks for watching.